Welcome to the Similar Cars Tournament, where we're going to be matching up similar cars as computers. So this first battle is Rift Monster versus Classic Monster. Alright, looks like Rift Monster is going to score the first point. So there's a lot of debate to which of these cars is better, actually, because Rift Monster is slightly faster, as far as I can tell. Ooh, okay. Rift Monster with another point. Though Classic Monster is bigger and more powerful. And they both have about the same protection. Okay, Classic Monster going to score that point. Well, let's see who gets this one. Ooh, we're in a bit of a standstill. The water is rising. Ooh, is Sudden Death going to finish this one off? Looks like Classic Monster. Yep, Classic Monster is done for. 3-1 to one for the Rift Monster, but Classic Monster coming back strong. All right, as you can see, Classic Monster is outpowered. Oh, but still got killed. All right, one hit left, and the Classic Monster is done for. It needs to make a strong comeback here if he wants to win. Oh, okay. Starting to make a comeback, though. He needs two more stars in a row. Bet one of them is going to push the other one into the saws. Oh, the Sudden Death's going to make things interesting. Oh, and Rift Monster going to take the first battle. So Rift Monster is better than Classic Monster. Now this next battle is going to be Kong versus the Ice Golem. Now I think Kong is going to win this. Alright, you got the first one because I think Ice Golem sucks. So as you can see, these cars are kind of similar to each other. They both have the same kind of wind-up arm, the same body shape, no tires. Oh my gosh, Kong is just dominating right now is not looking good for the ice golem though it's winter tires might help it on this map all right kong already up four to zero Ooh, other chaos this could make things interesting wow five oh for kong ice golem sucks kong is way better now we have space interceptor versus alien spaceship now space interceptor is one of my favorite cars one of my best cars with the most trophies for Battle Arena. Spaceship is not bad, but I think Space Interceptor is probably going to take this one. It just fell in the saw. Now, the reason I did two computers battling each other is because, not to brag or anything, but if I was playing for blue, my car would win every time. and It would just not give us a fair matchup. So we needed two computers with equal skill to really see which car is better. All right, Space Interceptor already up early. Only needs one more star left. It's going to fly way up in the air, though. Spaceship seems to just be avoiding it. All right, and Space Interceptor going to take an easy victory, as I figured. Now, these two cars are really similar. It's Rocket Ride versus Firework. Oh, wow, a tie. You do not see that very often. Ooh, but Rocket Ride is going to come out and get it. Rocket Ride is up. So the difference is Rocket Ride, which is the blue one, is a legendary. And you can control the thruster. Firework is an uncommon, which is the red car. And as soon as you tap the screen, the thruster just goes uncontrolled. Usually making it worse and less controllable, which I guess why it's uncommon. But starting to make a comeback on the Rocket Ride. Okay, only Firework's about to win this whole thing. Oh boy. So all comes down to this last battle. Oh my goodness. Okay, Rocket Ride just lost to the freaking Firework car. Now this is Sports Bike versus Motorbike. I'm pretty sure Sports Bike is the one that is on the red team. Then they're basically the same car. The only difference is Sports Bike has a thruster. Motorbike just has no thruster, but it's still kind of fast. So I think Sports Bike, the red the red car is probably going to take this one. But Anything could happen. Sports bike is up four now. Okay. Wow. And yeah, that's pretty much what I figured. Sports bike for the easy win. And now we have Superstar Dragster on the blue team and Dragster on the red team. Now, they're basically the same car. They both have the Godspeed trait. The only difference is Superstar Dragster is probably a little shorter lengthwise and it also has a thruster so it can kind of fly i think superstar dragster is better so that's who i'm rooting for for this one 
Uh, you can get Superstar Dragster this current season, or you can just get it by doing, I think it's 100 calendar missions, also called Superstar Missions. Alright, Superstar Dragster is up right now. I don't see any reason why Dragster would win this. There's nothing on the Superstar Dragster. Oh, okay. Whoa, a little flip there. Superstar Dragster is choking right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's already tied up. One last battle to decide it all. And yeah, that's what I thought would happen. All right, now we have the snowball cannon versus the snowball launcher, I think. I'm trying to just remember these names off the top of my head, but I think snowball launcher is the one in the red and snowball cannon or snowball bike or whatever that is, is in the blue. And I think the red car is probably gonna win the cannon one just cause it looks bigger and more sturdy. These cars are super similar and that car is one star away from winning. Blue's starting to make a comeback. I don't even know why these cars are in the game because they're so similar to each other. They should have just had one or the other, honestly. Who actually uses both of these? Okay, Blue already came back up to four stars. Last battle to decide it all again. Oh, is Red going to get it? Come on. Oh my goodness. Okay, Blue actually just won that. Now we have the forklift versus the skid steer. Forklift is on the left, and it has the knockback trait. It is a rare, or an epic car. Wow, skid steer actually got that. And I believe skid steer is an uncommon car. It's the car on the right. Now I think forklift should have no problem winning this one. Cause it's basically the same car as skid steer, just bigger and has a way bigger front. Wow, this is a chaotic match. Now both these cars can kind of bounce on their front. And, oh my, forklift got stuck, but skid steer died. Whenever these two cars hit each other, it's almost like Krampus and Kong going at each other. Not that chaotic, but still crazy. They're bouncing all around. All right, it's tied up now, surprisingly. Skid steer definitely has a little bit narrower of a base, which makes it way more unstable than the forklift. And just worse front protection, I guess. Oh my goodness. It's tied again, four to four. Nice open map to really see who's better there, just flipping each other. Well, forklift mainly just flipping, but yep, forklift got it. All right, now we have the hover car on the left on the blue team and versus the hover craft on the red team. Both these cars are pretty similar. I believe I ranked the hover car, the blue car, above hovercraft in my ranking all amphibian cars video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. But yeah, I think Hover Car should win. And I think Hover Car is an epic and Hovercraft on the red team is a rare. Don't know if I'm right about that, but I'm pretty sure. Oh boy, okay. These cars are basically just the same thing. I think just... Hover car floats a little bit more off the ground, though they both float on water. They're both in have the amphibian trait. I don't think they have any other traits. Okay, and tied four to four. I can't believe how many times that has happened. Oh my goodness, that was close, but hover car got it. All right, now we have the catter dog sled versus the regular dog sled. Catter dog sled is on the left uh dog sleds on the right so the dog sled actually has three dogs and the catter dog sled has two but the catter dogs are bigger so this should be very interesting it's cool how many like similar cars are in the game definitely fun to match them all up i'm actually gonna say i think dog sled's gonna win this one for the red team just because it has a little more length in the front Oh, dog sled with the crucial mistake, though, and that puts the catter dogs in the lead. All right. Oh, boy. Down four to two. Dog sled's going to have to clutch here. And he fell off the map. Not a clutch. Okay, I was wrong about that one. But anyway, that's the end of the video, so subscribe.